Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about, um, on August the 8th, um, there will be a no-confidence vote for Jacob Zuma, and this is going to determine if Jacob Zuma has to resign as South African president before his term's up, and he has survived several no-confidence votes before, but this vote may be different, okay? Um, there are at least five ANC members that have came out publicly and said that they will vote to recall Jacob Zuma. I've discussed one of them, Makozi Koza. But there needs to be more. Julius Malema, as much as I don't like Julius Malema and what he stands for, he did say that um, there will be, there that he knows of 60 ANC members of parliament that will vote um, to oust Jacob Zuma. And he said they will 100% vote that way if the ballot's secret. But the thing is, we're not going to know if the ballot's secret until about 3.30 Monday South African time when the Speaker of Parliament's going to announce it. Okay, she's playing a lot of games by waiting so late to determine if the vote will be secret ballot or not. For the sake and security of people, particularly within the ANC, the ballot needs to be secret. And it is just asinine and ludicrous to for it not to be secret. The only way I can see why the Speaker of Parliament would not want it to be secret is because she's taking bribes from Jacob Zuma. Because if it is secret, there are a lot of ANC members of Parliament, I firmly believe, that will oust Jacob Zuma. If it's not secret, I'm not so sure. But this, what I'm going to talk about is, please, ANC members, vote with your conscience. Okay? Zuma has destroyed Mandela's legacy, okay? Racial tensions are very high right now in South Africa, and Mandela's goal when he became president in 1994 was to make South Africa a rainbow nation where whites, blacks, coloreds, and Indians coexisted. Um, Zuma does not have that. Zuma has not done that. Uh, Zuma has called for confiscation of white land, okay? That's something Mandela stood against. He said it violated the Constitution. Also, th the... Per capita income and unemployment among black South Africans has increased under President Zuma because President Zuma has ties with the corrupt business and the Gupta family. Okay? The Gupta family and the Gupta family just does whatever they want to. They get richer and their workers get poor. And Zuma has property in Dubai and his son does too. Or at least one of his sons. And he's getting a lot of this at the expense of the tax dollars of the South African people. Okay? The government-owned airlines of South Africa, they have been bankrupt under President Zuma. Okay? There has been... Zuma has faced at least 73 charges of corruption. No, no, no. More than that. Excuse me. Way more than that. Over 700 charges of corruption. Excuse me. Over 700 charges of corruption. Okay. He should not have sur survived this long as president. He needs to step down peacefully and he should have had to resign a long time ago. Okay. I mean, he should be alive and if he resigns, I firmly believe he should be protected. He does not no vengeance in that area. But he should have had to resign and be under um either government protection or house arrest um, many years ago because of all the corruption charges. And regardless if he raped that woman or not, I mean, the, he knew she was HIV positive when he had intercourse with her, okay? That does not show that he is a responsible president. There's not enough evidence to assume if he raped the woman or not. And But we do know that he knew because he admitted that he knew that woman was HIV positive. And that is not a responsible president to be doing something like that either. So vote with your conscience. This is the stuff I've laid out. Please vote with your conscience. Okay, Zuma is destroying what the ANC fought for a lot during the apartheid years. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.